Sup guys, Alex here with a another unboxing video. This one was... I should have done this a couple of days ago, but I've been busy, so I haven't had time. Sleeping majority of it, and then we had the podcast yesterday. But yes, here is a new video with the unboxing of Anime Limited's uh, Kickstarter, Patma Inverted, the Ultimate Edition. And I'll set the selfie off it before I actually show you all the different sides of it and things like that. So, hopefully, I haven't had any problems with this one, unlike the uh, Grin Lagan one, which I mentioned, well, if you saw my video, I got a faulty one, and then they sent me a replacement, and the replacement is just as faulty, if not, well, it's a lot worse than the actual faulty one in the copy I got. So, the only way that I can even think of sorting that out is asking them for another one, or getting some glue and just sticking the original one in myself just to make things easier because I can't be bothered dealing with all of the crap. I'll oh, just close all of them. So here we go. So you have the front of the title. Is, is that not focusing on anything? It, it, is it? It's trying to focus on this camera itself behind. Can I turn that off? There we go. So that is the front. It's quite shiny, as you can tell. Like women. There we go. Then you have one of the spines, which has nothing on it. And then you have the other spine, which has the Anime Limited logo, Ultimate Edition, Patmer Inverted, it's PG. It's got one Blu ray and one DVD in it. And the back of it, which I actually really like the back of it, it's all upside down. <laughs> So uh, they have like the backard, oh, I went this side, the backard, the little, I backed this thing, Kickstarter logo, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, there we go, Let's see if that, oh, it's falling out, so yeah, then it has like the little funny blue Kickstarter logo, and then half of the images, well, yeah, majority of the images are the right way around, and then all the inf <laughs> all the information is upside down, so I've got to turn it upside down to see what's in it. So, that's that, <laughs> can't read it, but yeah, so in it, pop the autofocus back on, we've got the synopsis, Patma has lived her life underground following a catastrophic attempt to harness alternate power, alternative power sources. Her community were driven to sell in a dark, cramped network, ne Jesus Christ, I can't tell it's mine. Now I can tunnels below ground. She roams them by torchlight, dreaming, advent dreaming of adventures on the surface. Age does not fit in... Age? Oh, that's, that's the name of one of the characters. Age does not fit in comfortably in school or society as a whole. The world he lives in is known as Aiga, controlled by the tyrant Izamura's family for generations. Together, the pair are about to be pulled into something much bigger that will turn their worlds upside down, dot dot dot. So yeah, I saw this and I've seen, I haven't seen the film before, but the title really interested me. So I was like, when Anime Limited like, oh, we're doing a Kickstarter, I was like, I'll buy it. And for, I believe this was like £35 for the Ultimate Edition, if you kickstarted it, which I thought was kind of worth it. So in this, we get, I'm holding that upside down. <laughs> Inside, we get... The movie, and then we get a bonus, a 164 page art book, original soundtrack disc, replica of Lagos Letter, audio comment from producer and voice actors, an interview with the director, an interview with the voice actors, a promotion to Tokyo International Film Festival, and alternative angles, see how the see the world, how Pat me sees it. God, can you imagine watching the film upside down? That'd be crazy. But yeah, let's open it up. So that's like the cardboard sleeve, and inside we have the uh, the box, which is essentially just the image, the image again, and that's on like glossy cardboard, and it's just Batman bed on the top, Ultimate Edition, and on the bottom it's got like some little. It's, that, you know, there we go. It's got some little like reserved rights, copyright stuff. And are you gonna sort yourself out? Thank you. And then the other spine, which actually has all the stuff in it, oh, which shows you all the box and stuff. We have that. So I assume one of them's the art book. I assume it's the official design works. So we'll go through that one first. This is quite a hefty, quite a hefty book. <laughs> so it's got some really nice art. 
can never tell which is upside down with this title because all the images are like <laughs> upside down and stuff. Right, this is the right way. So there's some really nice artwork on the front of that. And on the back is Pat Moore Inverted, official design works, and then obviously the spine of the book. So this is the 169 page art book. And this, just quickly flip through it. This has, oh, I thought I'd just like bent the thing, then, which I've not been happy about. This has all sorts of stuff in it. So it's got like Q and A's, like little desi art design things. Um, I'm trying to think, concept art of like all the characters and things like that. This I can imagine is really interesting to look through because this is like if you saw my other unboxing videos of especially the time of Eve one, the little book that you got in it was pretty interesting, but this is like a lot bigger. This is this is even like a little story thing in here. It looks like it. A short episode. So there's like a little there's even like a little short story in here as well. Which is that's actually really interesting. I think I'm gonna have to give this a a bit of time to look into it and read it all and things like that. Bed. And then we have a piece of paper. This is, I assume, ah yes, this is the replica Lagos or Lagos. I, I haven't seen the film, so I don't know how that gets pronounced. Letter, and I have no idea what this is about, but it's something to do mentioning the effects of anti gravity. So, um, what's the top of it? So that's. It's a little replica letter of that. So there's a lot of print as ED61. E, fuck knows. But that's a cool little thing. And then finally, just there, we have the cardboard thing, what the disc trays are on. So. It'd be nice if people could put, like look at that, is that scratched? No, you're lucky. But it'd be nice if they could actually stick the discs in the trays. Like, it can't be that hard, seriously. <laughs> like, you're gonna have someone, is that even like, oh that's probably why, because it's not even that secure. But like, it'd be nice if someone would actually put a bit of effort into sticking the, the discs in the trays, otherwise people are gonna complain we scratched the hell out disc, discs. So, yeah, so the, I don't know which once again, is it upside down? God knows. Um, but this is the artwork on the Digipack tray thingy. I, I believe it's like a, it's called like a Digipack. I don't know the correct terminology, but this is quite on some rigid card. This is, this seems a lot more rigid than the Gorilla Gam one, which is always nice. I mean, it's not gonna break as easy and stuff. And then we have the spine. And then I assume they are the tyrants that is is a is a Mo family or whatever it was that I read. So then we've got the um, soundtrack disc. That's some some mighty fine reflection there. So we've got the soundtrack disc, and I do not know. It doesn't say how many tracks are on that. And then we've got the. How can I open? It? Oh, there we go. Oh, it feels like I'm gonna snap it. Well, how do you get this disc out easy? <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to. Is that already? Yeah, that is. How do you get that out? Oh, there we go. I've just got a fingerprint on it and all that. Like that. It's like chip the disc. That is really difficult to get that, that disc out of there. But we have the Blu-ray, which is of the film, and I think that the DVD, it's like the DVD is the film as well. So, that's that, it's the Blu-ray on that, assume you don't need to see that side of it, it's all shiny and stuff. And then, here we go, trying to get this other woman, no, no, trying to put it to the side because there's some artwork on the inside of this thing as well. So, how do you get... Oh. oh wait, was I supposed to... I think I was supposed to pull it back a little bit and then... I don't know. They should have instruction books on how you do this. And then the other disc, 
which is the DVD one. That's got some nice artwork on it as well. And that's that. And then it's got some really nice little artwork on the inside of it, which I assume is of the main characters and their dads, who probably dads are like slightly hollow, so I assume they are like ghosts. But there's Patma and Age, I believe. I believe the guy is called Age and the girl is called Patma. Patma, I don't know. But yeah, there's some really nice artwork on there. And oh, I'm, gonna, I'm seriously gonna destroy something if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna just put these back now before I do. Yeah, I think I was supposed to push it back before I pulled it up, so I probably just like accidentally damaged one of the discs. So, so yeah, that that woman disc doesn't sit in there flush, that's not very nice. So that's the unboxing of the Patmer Inverted Autumn Edition, the Kickstarter version, which I assume is the same as the normal Autumn Edition. So, and it doesn't say, I backed this or anything like that, it just says funded with Kickstarter. So I assume all of the, there was a limited amount of the Autumn Editions. So I assume it'd be nice if they numbered them all actually. But I assume that if you buy the Ultimate Edition from a store, then from Anime Limited store, then you will assume it'll have the little Kickstarter logo on the back of it as well. So that's that video. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.